Hello and welcome to the next time video. Now this video is going to basically show a bit more information about the different types of clock that we have. So this one here is our analog clock. This is one that we've been working on for the past few sessions. This is one that year twos need to understand to five minute intervals. So a lot of the work that you've just got set, you need to understand how it works as you go around in five minute increments. As well as that, there's also the digital clock. Now this one here is a 12 hour digital clock. That's what year three and above need to understand. And then you've also got a 24 hour clock, which is what you need to understand from year four and above. Now I'm just gonna go through a little quick go with this. Now we know how this clock works. It goes in our hours of the minute hand going round, and then it passes by each hour. So that's 10 o'clock. You keep going round, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, an hour in the afternoon, things like that. Now, if I go back to 9 o'clock, and now I put it on a 12 hour clock, we can see that we've got, written here, 9 o'clock, and we've got AM written in the bottom corner. That means anti-meridium, it's from Latin, it means before midday. Now, as soon as we get towards midday, and then go past it, that AM will change to PM, which is post-meridium, means after midday. So AM in the morning, PM in the afternoon, and then towards the evening and night. So as you can see, we're now at midday, 12 o'clock, and it's changed to PM, and then on a 12 hour clock, it goes to 1 PM. If we go back now to a 24 hour clock, so we're now back at 9 o'clock, so this is how it works on 24 hour clock. 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, so we're now at midday. Notice how it doesn't say AM and PM in the bottom corner. This is because on a 24 hour clock, we, can, we know whether it's AM or PM based on the numbers that are shown. So we know the next hour after 12 o'clock is 1 o'clock, but on a 24 hour clock, it doesn't show it like that, it keeps on counting up. So this shows 13. Now we don't say 13 o'clock, this is actually one o'clock. Now what I've done for you is created a document. Now this will show all the different times on the clock. It shows the written time, the 12 hour clock and the 24 hour clock. So we've got all of them written down in the o'clocks here and we've got a.m. for the morning. And then as we go along, it goes into p.m for the afternoon. And then if you look at the 24 hour clock, it goes through all the times and as you can see, it all links in. So let's say for example, three o'clock is 3 p.m. on a 12 hour clock, or it's still three o'clock, but it says 15 on it. So 15 and zero, zero. Now, if it was, let's say quarter past three, we would write down here, quarter past three. On this one here, it would say 3.15 because quarter means it's 15, all right, so 15 minutes past, and so it'll be 3.15 p.m. On this one here, it doesn't say p.m., so it'll be 15.15, that's all we would write. So have a look at this, try to understand it. Like I said, analog is for year two and above, then if you get into year three and year four, then we start to look at the digital clocks. So have a look at it. I will send a link out uh, to the clock that I've got on here that shows all the different types, the analog, the 12 hour and the 24 hour. This is so you can have a little play around with it and understand it a bit more.